Welcome back to Project 128. Today we're going to be showing you how we're going to be installing our automatic fill valves on our basins. And we talked about these before. They kind of work just like your toilet um, valve where as it fills, the float pushes up and turns off the water flow and drops down. As the water level goes down, it'll start your water flow. What we, we're going to be doing is we're going to be attaching it to a half inch PVC line, but you can get almost any connector that you want uh, to put on there. You can go to a three quarter inch directly, you can go to PEX line. You know, depending on what you want, just go ahead and talk to your local hardware store in the plumbing department and they can help you out. Now we picked these up through Amazon.com, but you can also get them at Tractor Supply and I'm sure other people online that you can find them. And we use these on you know, any of our basins. And you can see them if you're looking at uh, other people's hydroponic systems on YouTube. You'll see these being used an awful lot there. And the first things we want to do is make sure we're doing everything safe again. Make sure you have your safety glasses on. Make sure you keep your hands safe. We're going to be drilling. Yeah, in the previous videos, we also showed you we always mark where our water line, where we want our high level to go. And so um, we're going to go about one inch above that. I already put a mark there. One inch for me is about the... Um, from the edge of my thumb to the knuckle on my thumb. And so I just use that as like a quick, you know, little thing there to show me where I want to start my hole. And we're going to be using a three quarter inch bit for this. And uh, this is a speed bore, but as long as you've got a three quarter inch, you can use that. If you're not used to using these, you can go ahead and you can put in a pilot hole first. If that'll help you, that's fine. But you want it again above your water line. And the center point of this is going to be up about, um, an inch above our high water mark. And so we're going to go ahead and show you now, drill that hole out for you. to use a three-quarter inch um, speed bore on it. Actually, you need a seven-eighths. Uh, seven-eighths is going to go ahead and uh, this, since this is a three-quarter inch pipe, um, that's going to give you the clearance you need to get this in there easily. The thing you want to remember is that there's a rubber gasket on here. That goes to the inside of your tank. So you put that here on your basin. There's a small plastic nut. You're just going to screw that in on the outside. Do that finger tight, or you can just snug it a little bit. Don't snug it too tight because you don't want to crack it. And then from here, if this is your PVC fitting, it's going to go on this side. And then you can glue into the slip joint. You can go ahead and glue your supply line. And this is going to be adjusted. There's a little wing nut here. And you can turn that, and you can move your float up and down. And when we fill this basin, we'll go ahead and we'll do another quick video showing how to adjust your float valves. Um, and again, if you like us, go ahead and like us. So if you want to, subscribe. We have the blog. You can check out things on the blog. We'll go ahead and put um, information on where we picked up this valve through Amazon. And um, so you can go ahead and see the link there. If you have any questions, please feel free to send them. Any comments or suggestions, again, please feel free. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.